baby, show me. What's up, everybody? Thanks for tuning in. I was just chilling in the garage here when a strange gentleman came up with this random box. And inside this random box, we have a honeycomb grill for the 2016 Audi A3 over here. We're gonna go ahead and take the front bumper off. Pretty sure that's how you do it. So, I mean, I've never worked on an Audi before. Well, we're gonna uh, find out. Yep, she's taking the uh, front mount plate off. And uh, we're gonna do a little bit of a time lapse and a little bit of me kind of showing what you need to do. I mean, basically, it's just taking the front grill off. I mean, I'm sorry, front bumper off. So, really, it's just gonna be a couple of bolts on the inside here, and I'm guessing maybe something on the side as well. Um, I'm wondering how maybe if it's gonna be more difficult with the ECS splitter on to get everything to deal with everything, you know, get the get the grill on. But I don't know. We'll see. All right, so we're gonna unbox it and see what you, see what it looks like. Check out this new grill. Check that out. So it's an RS3 grill. We should. She said we, you will be able to take we'll this off, right? Off. Okay, yeah, we'll take it off. We'll snap this off. And okay. That. Yeah, this is gonna look nice, and they got the the uh, silver quattro. That's gonna go good with the color of your car. That's nice, really nice. What website did you get this off? Uh, it's like Pro Auto. Okay. Yeah. How much was it? It's like hundred and sixty nine dollars. Hundred and sixty nine bucks for this, Free guys. Shipping. Dang. And it came what within a week, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, dude. Look. We'll bring it over here so they can kind of see. Check that out. All right, let's get it on. Let's get. I had to stop what I'm doing because I do got to lift up the car because um, I, I got to look under there because the bumper's not pulling off and I don't want to yank. So I think there's, I feel like there's some bolts under there that I got to get. But I want to show you guys this real quick. Watch this clearance. You ready? Oh, man, I can't do this. Here. I got it. I got it. Just barely. That Audi clearance. So okay, we were struggling to get it off and we figured out that in here, in here, right in here, you have to pull the trim out right here how she has it pulled out and you can't really see it very well but there's a screw right up in here somewhere that, where is it babe? Oh, right here where my finger is that you gotta get out to be able to get the bumper out and we were messing with that for like 10 minutes.
Finally, 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 we got the grill off. That was a, such a pain in the ass, guys, like seriously. So, right in here, so there's, so we had, oh, man, don't even get me started. Okay, so I had to take like three bolts off or three screws off in here to try and pull the trim back. And we had to get, oh, there's one like in here, way back there. And it's just ridiculous. Like it's right next to the, it's right here. It's all the way back here. So it's a pain in the, it's a pain in the ass to get to. So that's what we were struggling to find in the first place. And I didn't, I don't know, man. It was just a pain in the butt. So unplugged the uh, main power for the uh, sensors. And basically just pulled the grill right out. It was just snapped in there, right? Okay, yeah, she just pulled it out. Make sure you're careful so you don't um, break any of the clips. Um, and it's cool working on this and learning more about the vehicle as you're kind of taking it apart. And man, just like my Genesis Coupe, we were just talking about it, like my Genesis Coupe took five minutes to get the bumper off and this took forever. I just snapped the other one. Back. So next, we got to get these um, front front sensors out. We finally got these stupid sensor covers off. These little clips on the side and the left and the right right here. Such a pain in the butt. You always got to make stuff difficult when you're working on these cars. So we this new grill comes with um, these sensor holes. Yep. So they're pretty cool. They just go right in there. A lot less noticeable than this big thing, you know. And a lot nicer. Check that out. Oh yeah.